Good day, good day, my people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, guys, today we're gonna focus on mechanical drafting, mechanical drafting and four. So, what you're gonna do, mechanical drafting and four, we're gonna do what you call a cam profile. So, if you take a look at our last video that we did based on cam, we only draw, we only drew, um, what you call it, a displacement diagram. But in this case, guys. We want to answer one of the questions that was provided in previous question papers. So we're going to draw a um, cam profile showing you how to, how to color the cam and also with the a displacement diagram. Okay, guys, please allow me to read the question there. It was taken from one of the previous question papers. Okay, it's mechanical drafting and four. Okay, now looking at the question there, it says um, a cam is to be... oh. A cam is to give the following motion to a knife edge follower. A cam is to give the following motion to the knife edge follower. During the first, during the first 90 degrees of a cam rotation, it rises. Okay. And then it draws for the next 60 of the cam, return stroke during the next 60 of the cam and drill for the next 150 of the cam rotation the stroke height the stroke height of the of the follower is 40 millimeters and the minimum diameter of the cam is 48 millimeters the the follower move with a simple harmonic motion during the um the follower moves with a simple harmonic motion to, during the out stroke and constant velocity during the return stroke. So simply mean when it was rising up, it goes with a simple harmonic motion. And whenever it was going down, it goes with a constant velocity. Okay. Draw a cam profile when the follower axle is offset. Draw the cam, the cam profile when the follower's axis is offset by 15 millimeters from the axis of the cam shaft or you simply mean that when we're going to draw a displacement diagram we're going to measure to scale 15 15 15 15 15 okay then now they also show that the displacement diagram and all the construction line the displacement diagram must be drawn on the left hand side so we're going to draw it this side on the other side we're going to draw the cam and also they say to not draw the follower okay now this is what you're going to do guys we're going to start by drawing a line you can start it here the row line going this side now according to the question normally when we were drawing an excel we used to measure 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 but in this case it indicates that we must use how much 15 so now we're gonna start there we measure up 15 maybe start over here let's say we start here is our first 15 okay so meaning now all of it we're going to measure 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, okay, until it gets to 12 equal divisions, all right, okay, there's another one over here, another one over here, another one there, another one is over here, another one here, another one over here, another one here, we have another one over here. Okay, now, for example, 0, 30, 60, I'm going to say 0, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, okay, from 180 we go 210, 240, 270, and now it still continues, 270 to 300, 300 from 300 you go to 330 and the last one is 360 okay since i can see that i'm not gonna have enough space this side i can just simply bring it this side and then now it'll be like here is my 360 line okay so many information from there to here it's 15 millimeters okay now secondly I'm gonna draw up my vertical line from here going where? Up. Now we have to take a look at it. How much was our stroke height? They say stroke height is 40. So me now, 
come over here I must finish 40 millimeters is over here okay from that 40 millimeters I'm gonna draw up a line go into the other side there so now what we have to do is to is to close it up closing it close it again this side close it there okay over there another one here so we must throw all our lines Okay, now this one we have. Now, what we're gonna have to write here, we write 0, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240, 270, 300, 330, 360. Okay. Now remember guys, we are still recording. We are still recording our cam. Can just throw a line coming this side. Okay. Now, according to the information that we have here, it says stroke height is how much? Stroke height is, uh, it says during the first 90, the 90 of the cam, it rises. So for the first 90, it goes up. But now what type of emotion? The follow-up moves with a simple harmonic motion during outward stroke. So meaning from zero to 90, it was how much? It was a simple harmonic motion. Now if it's simple harmonic motion, we just come over here, we say half of 40 is 20. We're gonna mark our 20 over there. We come up with a canvas. Now, with a canvas, we're gonna draw half a circle. Okay. Gonna start over here. Okay. We draw up our half circle in here. There we go. So now what are we going to do? We're gonna divide it into six equal divisions. Now we have to divide it into six equal divisions. Now here's the first, first one here. Okay, now goes another one is over here. Another one is over here. We have the other one here. We have the last one over there. Now, if this thing now says it starts from 0 to 90. So remember, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. One, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It starts from where? It starts from 0 to 90. Here's our 90 line. Let me just highlight it a bit. It ends here. So from 0, it rises up with a simple harmonic motion. So now, we must have 6 equal divisions. So meaning, we're going to have to find half of 15. Half of 15 of which now we go for 7,5. Now you come here, you say, if it is 15, we're looking for 7,5, 5, 6, 7, 7,5 is here. We go for another one this side, 7,5. We go for the next one this side, 7,5. So now what do we do? We divide it, okay? Now, what do we have? We have six equal divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we're gonna take these lines, we draw a line to, to our line of 90, because it says it ends at 90, 90. Another one, take the center over there. We go to the 90 line, 
another one 90 the next one goes to 90 okay so now what is going to happen there is is it start over here it goes here it comes over there it goes here it comes over there it comes here it goes over there so now you have to join it freehand okay let me start over here it just goes straight to our coins that's it okay now let's continue with the question so meaning for the first 90 it rises up with a simple harmonic motion then now it says it dual for the next 60 so meaning 30 60 it dwells nothing was happening so now it dwells okay then it says again um return stroke when it goes down for the uh, return stroke during uh, is uh sorry return stroke during the next 60 so the next 60 of which now we're gonna say um count it now 30 60 it goes down it goes down with what a constant velocity so now this is what we're gonna do it goes down with a constant velocity Okay, and then the last part it says it dwells for the next, it dwells for the next and remaining 150. So it means 30, 60, um, 90, 120, 150. Okay, so now we just move on the line over here, it gets there. Alright, so now this is our displacement diagram. Now, coming over this side, now, how are you going to draw a cam? You just give yourself enough space, maybe you can draw a line over here. You draw a line this way. Then, what are you going to do? They say, our minimum diameter is 48. Then now, what is a half of 48? Half of 48 is 24. So, what are you going to have to do? You come here, you measure 24. Now, find out, okay, your 24 line is over here. So meaning this is our center now. You can draw up a line. There goes our center. We're gonna have to draw up a diameter. Place it over here. It must come over there. You draw up your circle. This is our minimum diameter. So now, how, where are we going to draw our cam? We see where it ends, it ends there. Now, you stretch your compass to that point over there. Okay. You draw up our circle for a cam. Okay. So, meaning now this line it has to come down to this point over here. Okay. Um, now we're gonna have to divide it into equal divisions. So now we're gonna have to divide it into equal divisions. Okay. There we go. So now, that's how we're drawing our cam. They must all start over here. So we are trying to make all equal divisions. So now we're gonna record our cam over here. Now, 
um, the rotation, we're gonna show that the rotation is clockwise. You can show the arrow. We leave all going anti clockwise 0, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, um, 240, 270, 300, 330 to 360. Okay. Now, how do we record them? We go first line and zero is here. Okay. Now we go to the line of 30 over here, of which now we can see is this point over here. Then you're gonna draw a construction line. It goes there. You take your compass. You're gonna place it to the center there. You go to the line of 30 is here. Okay. The second one, 60. The line of 60 is this one there. Okay. Place your compass over here. You stretch the line of 60 there. You go to the line of 60s here. Repeat the dot. Then the next one, it was 90. Okay. No, the 19 line now is on top of our line here. 90, 120, and also 150. It moves on top of the line. Okay. And then we go to 180, 180 and the line is here. We draw a thin line. It gets here. You take your compass, place it over here. You bring it to that line. You go straight to, to the line of 180. You remove this, is here. And then the next one from 180, 80 it goes to 210, 210 of which is on top of this line, 210 is over here. So now you can join it. Okay, from there it moves on top of the line, on top of the line. Okay, now remember 210 is here, if you come past it comes over straight here. And now you go with it there. It comes straight here. Okay. Let me just highlight our cam. So you guys can see it. Yeah, it moves on top of this line. Okay. And now, over here, it moves here. Back to, back to zero. Okay, now this is how our cam looks like. Hope you guys do understand what we're doing over here. Then we are done since the question said we shouldn't do the follower and stuff like that. So this is how our cam should look like, guys. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate your time for watching my videos, guys. I thank you. To show you now it looks like as I can see my camera moved a bit okay that's how it's gonna look like guys okay thanks for watching my video guys bye